in East Asia with three million people. Um, many of those are nomadic herdsmen who still live in a vast wilderness where the gospel has never been able to penetrate. And they live in a structure called a gator. It's a large round built tent that they can pick up and move. Many of these families move you know, up to 11 times in a year and just pack everything up and, and put it on a camel and we'll move across the country. It is a passion of mine to be able to take the gospel to those who never had the opportunity to hear the name of Christ. How we do that is we, through national believers, were able to meet physical needs and in ways that shows the love of Christ. Whether it's by replacing a gear that's been burned down, um, giving coal in the wintertime whenever it's negative 48 degrees outside um, and they have nothing to heat their home. Whether it's giving hay to herdsmen to be able to keep their livestock alive. Um, these things are just a small part of what we do to show the love of Christ and a way to open up the door to be able to share the gospel. Meeting their physical needs can open up doors um, to these families and through that we're able to share creation of Christ and then move that into them being able to hear discipleship lessons and, and finally with the end goal of, of seeing churches in some of these areas that have never, never been able to experience the gospel. <laughs> Through this, we've been able to see um, herdsmen come to know Christ, to accept Him. We're able to see them being baptized in vast wilderness. It's because of your giving through the Wadi Moon Christmas offering that we're able to go to these places. We're able to to share the gospel with these people who've never had a chance to hear. <laughs> it, it is amazing that in this world that fast paced Dr. Google and all this kind of stuff and then we have a group of people that live in a situation like that where they ride horses all the time. I think Betty and I probably might go out there and go out there and hurt a little cat. Can we do that? We could make sure the box full of it. Let's continue to pray, folks. Father God, keep us this in your way. All of us stop in your truth. So we are committed to one another to Jesus, the only source of eternal life. Amen. I think our announcements are kind of, <coughs> kind of short for today. That's all right. Uh, OCC workdays, I said there's no OCC workdays this Monday <coughs> on the 627 or Tuesday 75. Um, Laura Fisher has been leading up that, and uh, she is actually going to relocate to Southern Missouri to be with family. And so she's had to uh, step back away from OCC. Um, Charlotte sent me a message the other day and, and said, uh, she said, I'll, I'll be glad to step in. So thank you, Charlotte, for stepping in there. So uh, did you want to add anything? No, I was just getting regrouping and getting on with it. <laughs> All right. And uh, the uh, operation for the child has been such a, a big part of uh, what we've done with here. Boxes will be coming soon, and we'll just have a lot of fun folding them, right? Yes. <laughs> 60 flats, in fact. <laughs> the boxes, if they don't fold themselves, you know what you're saying, right? Okay. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, shoppers, of course, you will continue to be on the lookout for bargains that are out there. Some of you all amaze me because I see some of the posts there on Facebook. Say, Look, I found this there at this dollar store there, you know, in, in Boberly or whatever, you know. And, you know 
Yes. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, Jackie, did you want to say anything or read it? Okay, Red Alive Food Pantry, July 9th. And parents dine out, coming up there on July 16th. That's my birthday. So uh, you know, hopefully you guys have lots of kids. I'll, uh, my plan is there is I'll get the Pilot Grove Rodeo on that night. Tammy, uh, did you have anything to add? Yeah. Spread the word. Okay. Uh, Jackie, did you want to say anything? And I think that's mm -hmm. it, isn't it? Yeah. John. I'm going to be showing the documentary uh, 2,000 Mules by Denise D'Souza here at church at some point in the future. If I haven't already talked to you about it and you're interested in seeing it, come see me after church and I'm going to be right back here at the back door. Okay. All right. Thank you. We have pens that we're going to give away to give you information on. I have a bunch of those and I'll put some in the back, I'll put some in there and pick up several if you want and take them and just hang them out to the people when you talk to them or just, just okay. hand them out so that, that they can see the brand new and how to get them. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Can I see somebody over here? No? Okay. All right. Well, if there's no more announcements, then. Everybody stand and we'll see and then we'll just miss the trip. Thank you.